Hello everyone, this is Vervin here and today I decided to finally colonize my second planet. So I've been thinking a lot about what exactly to, to colonize because there's so many nice planets around. Um, but uh, in the end I made a decision, so let's see what happens. So I think I've decided to settle on Ultima, on the last frontier. And the reason for this is I was very much doubting between Beulah and Ultima, because Beulah has, well it has 10% less aluminium, but it has two fertilities for uh, I think fruit and grain. Um, but I went there and it's just extremely hilly, and that might interfere a bit with, with how easy it is to settle there. Uh, also, uh, Ultima is uh, next to Black Hill, where um, I don't know if you remember, but um, that's where I, I settled uh, my first colony. So in that sense, it would be easy for me to produce iron here and drag it up to Black Hell and the carbon I produce in Black Hell to drag it up to Ultima if I need it. Um, so it's kind of close by. I don't have to haul stuff around all the time. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll have to show uh, the map. Show MB sample map overlay. And then let's see what happens. So, if you remember, I started settling carbonite because it was very easy because it only had carbon really. So, I just needed to look out for the color blue. But uh, this has uh, like three or four different kind of minerals. So, this is going to be much harder to decide where to settle probably because the, the colors will overlap. So there, as you can see, it's it's much more different colors and shades of colors and yeah, overall it's just completely different. So I'm going to go down and then we'll see if I can find a nice spot to sample. So see ya once I arrive. So I've landed at some place, or at least arrived. So here is pink and kind of orange and red over there. So let's see what all the colors actually stand for. Oh, this looks like it's a waterline. That's not good. Huh. Well, let's see what this pink is for anyway. Show and be sample core. I'll copy this because I'll be typing it a lot. Core sample then. There. One hundred and twenty four iron and fifty nine aluminium. That's not bad at all. So, hmm, there's a lot of water here, that's less interesting. So here's some of turquoise and this is blue, so I wonder if there's a difference. Have to stand still, otherwise you're going to get too much uh, beam movement. So this is carbon and aluminium, which gives this blue color. So I guess aluminium is also some kind of blue then. But the values aren't very high. So I'm not that interested. Mm, carbon? Huh, so the turquoise stuff is kind of carbon. What would purple be then? Would that be the iron with with some blue? Or is it a color of its own. Because I guess we also have a fair amount of aluminium here, so we should see the aluminium color as well. Ooh, this might be too much beam movement. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, 88 aluminium. That's not bad. Then there was some red. Let's see what this is. To stand still, or be about, I think, three meters a second in my experience is enough to start it. So 
So let's see, this is red, and that's kind of bad iron. So dark red is bad, so this pink should be good iron with some aluminium maybe. If I'm starting to understand all these color codes. Too much B movement as always. Ooh, lots of iron, some aluminium. Hmm. That's the bright blue. I'm just gonna keep probing. Because I want to know exactly what everything means. Because I guess once you build a colony, you're kind of stuck with it, or you will be putting a lot of resources in it. So it might be worth actually trying to, to optimize a fair amount. So I'm going to sample a bit more, and I'll be back once I find something interesting. Hello everyone, I'm very happy. I think I finally found my plot on Ultima Last Frontier. It was quite a bit of probing, a couple of hours actually. Um, because I just couldn't find a decent spot of iron. So if you remember, um, I can show you the stats of this planet, Ultima Last Frontier. You can see it has quite an abundance of iron. Um, it has a fair amount of aluminium, some carbon and some titanium, and no fertilities. So I was really looking for a good spot for iron, and I thought I might be able to get like 180 or something, but it didn't seem to happen. I could find 120, 130. So I was very happy once I finally found a spot with 100 and 140-ish. Uh, so I think I'll just keep at that because I've been probing for so long. Furthermore, it has uh, so the iron it seems to be the the kind of salmon color. This uh, stuff. But then there's also a fair amount of aluminium around, which, so it is 0 0.3 here, um, and I found about spots that are like 100 for value, so it didn't seem that bad. Of course, it's way less than, than for example, the carbon I had on carbonite, which was 207, which is kind of a base production value. Um, but I think, well, I mean, these percentages are less high than on carbonite as well, right? So on carbonite, it was 60%-ish, and this is it 30%. So Maybe maybe it goes like that. So, I mean, with 60% I found 207, and with 30% aluminium I found 100. So that's half. So that fits at least with that. I don't know if that's the calculations, but I'm going to assume they are. So with iron I found 140-ish, um, and actually I was thinking, ooh, maybe there's also some titanium around. And titanium is a bit of a whitish color, it seems, like this here. And there's some uh, some spots for that around as well. At least this one, and that might have some titanium. Um, but yeah, overall, so these are very nice iron spots. Uh, one of them had 140. I will I will show that. So it's been a bit of a problem figuring out what which color is which exactly. Luckily, in a sense, I don't have fertilities here that mess up the color even more, because um, that would make it even more chaotic. Um, so, I hope this is the one, I'm not entirely sure. Most of these were 130, I think, which is still not completely bad. So this one's actually 122, as you can see it also has some titanium in it. See what this one is. So what's very important with this is that you don't 
try this at the edges because um, actually the squares don't completely overlap with where the resources are so also when you build your factories be sure to to core sample uh, so you know that the factories are actually in the right spot because that would of course be sad if you spend a lot of resources and there might not even be the, uh, that material that you want to mine in that spot so iron 100 yeah, so this is the purple so here you see aluminium which is blue and iron which is pink and it makes kind of this purple color so that makes sense so basically I've been flying around for a while doing this <laughs> eh, it's not as bad as it sounds because you're kind of interested in finding finding a specific material cannot sample too much beam beam One hundred and thirty eight there. So that's a this is a nice spot. So I think I'll build all my first factories here. Um of course once I build my dome I might check out the other ones as well. So I'm fairly happy that I have both iron and aluminium in, in fairly high quantities here and that there's also some titanium around. They won't be the most productive factories, but at least uh, it will produce me some, which is better than nothing. Also, you can build a lot of factories, so uh, in the end you'll definitely have at least some for your own construction purposes. Of course, you won't have so much that you can sell to everybody, but that's also not my purpose here. So, I think I'll place the deed here. I'll go check out a little bit where exactly I want to place it, um, just to see the surroundings a bit. But just to kind of go through my thought process on how I figured out where to settle on Ultima. So I'll be settling on this spot somewhere. So I'll go search for a bit now and see you in a bit. I think I'll actually just settle here close by. I've been flying around a bit. There's nothing really spectacular about the, the research, uh, resource distribution anywhere, like that you get like a nice cluster of, of anything. Because I've already got, in a sense, a nice cluster of, of aluminium and iron here. So it won't be anytime soon that I would be expanding anyway um, so if you see here is a nice iron cluster and if you look and all there's some nice iron which should still be in my deed if I settle about around here mm. yeah, and that's about it so and considering there was like about 30 ish 30 40 short sides of radius of a deed those are easily within reach so I think if I just settle you can see this is a bit of a hilly spot um, so I yeah I really think if I just settle kind of here then I should have everything I I want within reach so that's what I'm gonna do so this will be it claim deed so this will be my second colony where I will actually need um, need domes because uh, if you do composition um, yeah you can see that it's not very livable for us uh, there's no oxygen first of all there's 40 percent co2 there's a lot of ammonia in the air so that's not gonna be great for us at all um, show GGG there's a gravity of 2.41 so 2.42 so you'd weigh two and a half matches as on earth so basically it's not very pleasant for people so you will need um environmental dome here the nice thing is that there is actually an atmosphere that we can take out all the substances that we need in order to make the gases that we um yeah so that, that we need so i'll be claiming this deed this will cost 80 stellar class this will cost 80 stellar credits and 80 per month thereafter. Click again to confirm. Deep planted. There we go. So, yes, I'll be um, putting down some domes here. So I'll be right back.